Before we begin, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Dolany TV and on Instagram at Tyson Dolany. You guys want to make sure you see what's going on behind the scenes here on Dolany TV. That's where to find it. Let's get going. This is Dolany TV today, guys. We are going to talk very simply about what has happened to the MLB The Show 18 market in Diamond Dynasty post Madden launch, as well as how you can capitalize and get a lot of stubs. Now, pre-warning, you're going to see and you're probably going to roast me in the comments section down below. I only have 2786 stubs. Well, that's because you guys saw that I really haven't been posting a lot of pack openings and at the same time, I really haven't been spending a lot of time on Diamond Dynasty because that Fortnite grind is absolutely real and I'm trying to get 950 V-Bucks so as I can just play for fun. I'm about two tiers away, so we should be good to go there. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna expose myself and show you my active orders right now. I've got some buy orders for Russell Martin. That's just a quick flip I'm hoping for. And then you see here, it's kind of that load up Phillies hat. Got five of those as well as the Nationals hats and the Marlins hats. So these are kind of three tiered hats I'm gonna show you. I always show you guys these. And I mean, these are the tried and true method to make quick stubs in MLB The Show 18. Now the problem is, like I said, post Madden launch. So right here, what I had to address is the market's not as active the market's not as quick and it's not as fluctuating as it was with MLB The Show pre Madden launch. Of course, you know how it works if you've been in the MLB The Show community for years is things really heat up pre Madden because of course you have that week of or week, week and a half of stubs being on sale for 50% off. So that inflates the market pretty good. Everyone profits really nice for that week and a half and then it goes stays consistent for a little bit and then all of a sudden the Madden codes start coming out and people start leaving for Madden and that leaves people to kind of scramble oh crap I can't get as good a value because there aren't as many people buying or selling like there was pre Madden launch so that's kind of my quote on that now of course like I said let's go check out the hats and you're gonna see basically I'm gonna show you all the hats Brewers hat there's a lot of good hats that you can flip for good profit right now. The one I'm flipping, of course, the orange Marlins hat, $13.99 compared to $6.56. Right now I'm in at $14.25, so there's one guy under me. But that is a great little profit margin, especially if you don't have a lot of stubs to work with, you know what I mean? And now, let's go get right into the specialization here. And let me show you, hold on, I skipped past it. The Nationals hats, like I just sold them. These right now are 100% one of my favorite hats to flip. 255, 210, 207. So you get in for five stubs more than that. And you're flipping it for 660 or above while you're literally losing, what, 66 stubs most times, 70 stubs at most. And you're looking at anywhere between just about 250 to 225 profit. Well, off 250 stubs, if you have a thousand stubs, you can put forward four buy orders and get 250 each time. You can now do eight buy orders, right? So you're multiplying by two every single time you're coming on down. So that's a good little profit margin to begin with because if you only have a thousand, why would you buy one hat and only flip for 200 or 300 stubs when you can buy four hats and flip for 200 and 400 stubs, right? That's what I'm saying. So right now, I'm gonna get myself in here at 210 and uh, hopefully grease a couple more Nationals hats and keep the flipping going because of course this is just kind of a preamble video to hopefully a 50K bundle that I have coming out later this week if MLB The Show updates their sets or whatever they do, right? So here we go, 210, we're in there. So let's go over to the Phillies hats. Phillies hats are have been all season as well. Such a beauty. Right now, 24.75. That is me. Five sell order or five buy nows for 24.75. Whereas a sell order at 15.41. Do the quick math. Take 250 off that 240 or 24.75. So what are you left with? 22.25. Okay, 22.25. 
minus 1600 that's 625 stubs you're making on the flip if you put in at 1600 which at this point of the season 1600 will guarantee you a couple of Phillies hats so I'm definitely gonna get myself at least one more of these and show you guys that it will work hopefully a couple of these start moving but like I said the market is not moving fast you have to have patience but you also have to invest in the right things so as you make enough stubs to reward your patience and move forward right so there you go and when it does move it'll move like that that's the thing is it's very hit or miss nowadays with Madden being out so that's another one and now let's go over to the Marlins and like I showed you hold on we completed an order we sold target field I bought those for one stub that's another quick trick I'll show you in a second Marlins hats yes sure it's going for a thousand but that's just because some idiots trying to get rid of his and that's the thing you gotta really be aware this time of year is it an idiot trying to get rid of his hat or is it an actual trend in the market 1399 down to a thousand it ain't no trend it's just an idiot trying to get rid of his hat so one other thing I will show you stadiums right now if you're trying to like invest in something that will move really slow but pay off quite a bit of stubs Scheib Park is definitely one I would recommend that is for sure as well as any stadium any silver stadium for under three stubs or less like you see you can get Comerica St Park for one stub Kauffman Stadium for one stub Target Field was at one point yesterday only going for one stub I picked up five and that's an easy flip right five stubs to profit 62 stubs each time while well, suddenly bing bang look at that you're talking a lot of big numbers right 62 each time for one stub well five times 62 300 stubs right there you're buying a nationals hat right and those are going to move rather quickly especially if you price them about 20 stubs below and when you're picking them up for one stub what does it matter if they're 20 stubs below market price right so there you go that's stadiums now sponsorships are kind of a thing I will warn you away from do not touch sponsorships at this time of the year unless you are absolutely guaranteed to make profit I mean Trinity Backco and uh, this Wilson one if it's under a thousand sell now definitely put in a buy order and try and get yourself one for under a thousand if you get up for under a thousand you're guaranteed profit that's it you go over a thousand you could get end up totally screwed every time so that is my advice to you on that as well this one right here this new balance camo cleat is not a bad time at all because you can put in a buy order for 25 stubs and these are the ones you remember when these sets come out and they've got five pieces to them or four pieces whatever how one is super rare two are medium rare and two are very common the two very common are going up in price now but they're still in everybody's collection and it's just a matter of waiting for people to clear them out and I mean no one's waiting this time of year to try and sell it on the open market so if you can get in and grease a couple for quite a bit like 25 under so what I'm going 200 under market value all of a sudden you're looking really good right let's see what we just bought or actually we just sold yeah yeah we just sold target field again like I was saying one stub 69 62 stub profit it's not a bad go boys so with that I will show you kind of what I am targeting as well once I get a couple more stubs go down to the 90s here guys like the rank seasons rewards are gonna be really useful now because you have Lenny Dykstra, you see 20,000 for 2,507. Well, guess what? That's a good little profit flip. Um, Robinson Cano, still not quite that great because he's been a very competitive card all year. Darren Erstad, still a very good flip right there. If you can get one quick sell them and stuff, you are looking at about 2,000 stubs profit, right? So that's not bad. And then anyone else, these other cards like obviously Jonathan Broxton will kind of sort out once these mystery packs go away Matt Holiday, not a bad pickup I believe he's an event reward Evan Longoria a very good pickup 22,000 stubs for 2800 well guess what or 28,000 you sell him 
take away that 2800 out of it, what are you left with? 25-2. It's 25-2, 22-2. Two. Well, that's 3,000 stubs right there. If you're just balling and you don't feel like having patience on the hats, that's another way to go about it, and that's a lot of stubs all at once, that is for sure. So guys, definitely the special cards, the flashback cards, the legend cards that have been released as sets or as event rewards or as ranked season rewards will also get you stubs as per the players. Anyways, I am up on Oda here. This has been my market tips for after the Madden drop. I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one.